Hello everyone and welcome to the Zone of Tech. This is Daniel and this is going to be a pretty interesting video. So let's say you have a MacBook Pro which is this big right here. And uh, no, this is not the right time MacBook Pro in case you are wondering. So let's say you have a, uh, a MacBook Pro, a normal MacBook Pro and or a MacBook Air. And you want to connect your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air to an external display which is this baby right here. Or a TV which in my case, yes, that's a TV and that's not a monitor. Unfortunately. Anyway, so uh, let's say you want to connect your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air to an external display, but your MacBook Pro doesn't have an HDMI port, only a mini display port or a Thunderbolt port on the 2011 and newer models. So let's take a look and see how do you connect your MacBook to an external display. Okay, so let's take a look, shall we? So these are the ports on my MacBook Pro. So we have Mac, Safe, Ethernet, FireWire, two USB ports, SD card reader, microphone, and finally uh, the Thunderbolt port, which is the port which you are going to use to connect your HDMI. Huh? But it doesn't fit, and that's what he said. Uh, so yeah, this is the port which you are going to use to connect your HDMI cable to your TV. So to do this, you need an adapter, which is this one. So this is the Rocketfish HDMI 2 mini display port or Thunderbolt port adapter. So you can buy this off Amazon. The link is in the description down below so you can check it yourself. Now this is the most uh, the most popular HDMI to mini display port adapter on the market. So go ahead and buy this one because you know I didn't have any problems with this adapter so far. It has been working pretty pretty smoothly and uh, once again <laughs> unfortunately I didn't get paid uh, to say this but yes it is a pretty pretty good adapter. So uh, once again the link is in the description down below. So after you have connected your adapter to your MacBook, simply connect one side of your HDMI cable to the Rocketfish adapter and the other side to your TV. And uh, this is pretty much it and you are good to go. Then I'm going to use my Samsung Galaxy S4 to turn on my TV because this is how we roll on Zone of Tech. So there you go. How cool is this? And once again, if you haven't seen my video on how to turn on your TV, controller TV using your Samsung Galaxy S4, uh, just click the annotation on the screen and you will be taken to that video which opens up in a new window so you won't lose the progress from this video. Okay, so as you can see my MacBook Pro is now connected to my external display which in my case is a TV. So as you can see, uh, everything I am doing on my MacBook appears on my television as well. So uh, this is basically it. This was my tutorial on how to connect your MacBook Pro to an external display or television. So once again, all you need is a simple adapter, HDMI to mini display port or Thunderbolt port adapter, which in my case is the Rocketfish. So once again, you can buy this off Amazon or eBay. The links are in the description down below. So thank you all for watching this video. Also, don't forget, if you want to see my uh, how to use a Samsung Galaxy S4 to control your TV video, just click on the annotation on the screen and you will be taken to that video. Okay, so thank you all for watching this video. This was basically it. This was my tutorial on how to connect your MacBook Pro or MacBook Air to an external display uh, or TV, which is this baby right behind me. So uh, thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget if you enjoyed this video, uh, definitely if you like this video, give me a like. It helps me out a lot. It pretty much tells me that you enjoyed this video and I'll keep making more videos like this one. So also if you want to see more videos regarding the MacBook Pro or the iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, Samsung Galaxy S4 because I have a ton of videos, a lot of videos covering the Samsung Galaxy S4 and a lot more videos to come. So just click that subscribe button if you want to subscribe to my channel. It's free, you don't have to pay for anything and you'll get to see my latest uh, videos on the world of tech. So once again, thank you all for watching this video. Oh, and before I leave, I have a question for you, which is what's your computer? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what computer are you using? What's your main machine? Because in my case, it's a 13-inch 2011 baseline MacBook Pro. So I know, I have to get a more, <laughs> a more fast, a faster one because mine is pretty old. Anyway, let me know in the comment section down below what's your computer and I will see you in the next video. And uh, until then, you know, fuck as always. Cheers.